Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Psalms, the Tehillim. In Hebrew, that means praises. And we're in Psalm 149. And in the Hebrew letter numbering system, that's Psalm Kuf Mem Tet. Kuf is uh, 100, Mem is 40, Tet is 9. And this is a song that begins with praise. It's a song of praise. It begins hallelujah, celebrate God, advertise him, maybe even go a bit crazy for him. And this is a psalm, a psalm that's perhaps set at the time of the autumn festival because it's a psalm of joy and that's the festival of great joy. It also has themes of newness linking into the new year, the Rosh Hashanah that happens in the autumn time. And also uh, the, the, the time of tabernacles, which is in the autumn, is the time of the greatest joy. Um, and therefore there's this invitation to joy. And also it's the time when God is seen to renew uh, his covenant, renew the earth, and so also to write, um, to write down in the books of judgment the names of those who are sealed for the new year. And there's a reference to being, things being recorded and written down. So it begins, Hallelujah. Shir will Adonai Shir Hadash. Sing a new song to the Lord. This is a new period of the, Lord, of, of the year. So sing to the Lord a new song. Praise him in the assembly of the Hasidim. And the Hasidim are those who are um, faithful to God. It's connected to the word chesed. The Hasid is the one who keeps chesed, the one who keeps faithful to the covenant, like God is keeping covenant with his people through grace. And says, Yismach Israel ba'asav, let Israel rejoice in her maker. Benet Sion yagilu b'malcham, let the people of Zion, the sons of Zion, rejoice uh, in their king. And this word rejoice, yagilu here, means to dance around. It has connection with the word uh, nagila from in, in the song Hava Nagila, let's dance. It's this dancing around in a circle. And Yahalalu uh, Shemo Machol, and that's reflected in this word. Let them praise his name with dance. Machol is dancing. And also there's musical instruments here. Batofu Machol Yazamrulo. Let them make music to him with the, the timbrel, the small drum, and the harp, the stringed instrument. Because the Lord wants his people. What a beautiful expression here, that God desires his people, that Lord, the Lord favours his people. The Lord beautifies, he adorns uh, the, the, the meek with rescue, with salvation, Yeshua, with, with his rescue. What a wonderful um, expression that is. Let, the, let God's people rejoice uh, in their triumph. And again, it's this word Hasidim, let the Hasidim, let the faithful ones of God, the ones who are connected to God through Hesed, let them rejoice. And uh, Yiranenu uh, al Mishkovatam, and let them rejoice, and uh, let them let them sing out on their couches. And the fact of couches, it suggests those who are reclining at a feast. Um, at feast, people would recline, they would lie back, they would enjoy the feast. And so they're singing to God from a place of rest, from a place of rejoicing, from a place of, of, of festival. And then it says, Romamod el begronam, let them praise the Lord, let them shout aloud, let them exalt God with their throats. Garon is, is the throat. So let them fill their, fill their mouths, fill their voices, fill their throats with the praises of God. And then it moves on to something quite, it seems quite militant and quite um, martial in its outlook. The Herev Fifeot Bayadam, with a two-edged sword in their hand. So this also maybe looks to the fact that this is a time, the autumn time is a time of judgment, a time of setting things right, a time of turning around, of renewing. And so there's a sense of, uh, of, of justice coming in here as well. And, the, and they, are, they have this sword, la sod nakama, begoyim, to carry out vengeance uh, in, the, in the nations and retribution among the peoples. So there is this sense of God bringing his, uh, his, his, his mishpat, and that's, that's also uh, mentioned in the last verse, that God will do the setting right of the things that are wrong, the setting right of those things which have led to, um, to, to chaos being let back in. And says in verse 8, to bind their kings in chains and their leaders with chains of iron, to put a stop to evil, to put a stop to those things which are disturbing the, the peace and allowing chaos in. 
and uh, it says this is the uh, this is the victory this is the uh, the the honor of the lord's people hadal this is the glory this is the majesty of god's people the whole hasidav it's that word again to all the hasidim this is the glory of those who stay faithful to god through his covenant and the psalm comes to an end as it's begun with that wonderful word hallelujah celebrate god so here's a song of joy a time of feast of looking for things to be set right of looking looking for evil to be put a stop to looking for there to be praise and joy from a place a festive place of rest and it's something that we can take uh, on our lips as a song to the Lord who has, he has overcome evil, he's overcome unrighteousness, He set us free, he's given us cause to rejoice, to make music to his name. Have a good day.